So, the death of OTR Trucking is almost here. So, for a driver like me, who has a Class A CDL, more than half of the trucking jobs are likely to go away in the next five years. The reason is because of the advent of self-driving trucks. Waymo, Embark, Kodiak, Aurora, Uber Freight. As well as major trucking companies getting behind them because the self-driving trucks can significantly reduce training costs because these companies will no longer have to employ drivers. No, oh, yeah, let's not forget that Einride one that just started up in Austin, Texas. So, with these self-driving trucks that are coming out, is there a way for us drivers to protect our income going forward? And to go find something that is in demand. Details next on Trucking It. Okay, let me be clear. Self-driving trucks are here. And they're now. Three and a half million jobs are now under threat because of trucks that can drive themselves. That means my career might be coming to a close sooner than you think. But those with vans and reefers should feel especially nervous right now. Especially if you're an owner-operator if you're a company driver who doesn't have the endorsements, you know the ones. Hazmat, tanker, doubles, triples, bus. If you're a driver who just doesn't care, pun intended, then consider yourself warned right now because reality is here and self-driving trucks are just around the corner. Many of them are in testing right now here in Texas as well as out in Nevada and there are several other states that are changing their regulations as I speak to allow for these driverless trucks So, is your career under threat? Well, the answer depends on what kind of endorsements, what kind of trailer you pull, and what kind of stuff that you're going to be doing going forward. Ah, uh, so here's the jobs that are safe right now. If you pull anything that involves live animals, you're safe. If you pull anything that involves connecting multiple trailers, those doubles and triples I mentioned earlier, you're safe. If you pull hazmat, intermodal, or anything else that requires the driver to walk around and do a physical inspection on your trailers to make sure they're staying secure. That means things like flatbed, for example. You're safe. But if you pull a dry van, or if you pull a refrigerated trailer, these are the two jobs that are under threat. So, this will save training companies millions of dollars every year because they don't have to train as many drivers. This will save large shipping companies millions because they don't have to pay drivers. And this may threaten your job. So, what can you do 
in order to protect your job and your livelihood. Let's talk about that. Okay, so yes, there are ways to protect your income and your livelihood. For starters, if you're going through CDL training right now, do not get the automatic restriction. Unless you have something like a leg injury or something like that. Because having three pedals on the floor and a stick between the seats will give you a clear advantage over someone who doesn't have that on their license. That's the first thing. Then, as you, once you've completed your schooling and you're into your career path, or you're deciding which career path you're going to take once you enter the trucking industry. Here's some things that you can get on your license now that'll help you in the end. They are hazmat endorsement, doubles, triples endorsement, tanker endorsement, school bus or charter coach bus endorsement. Those four endorsements and maybe heavy haul if that's required in your state or country as well. Those will basically secure your chances at getting a job should self-driving take over yours. Here's another. And then here's some other types of trailers you can pull should self-driving take over your drive van and reefer career. They are dump trailers, but you'll require training for that. Flatbed. Training required, and you got to check your straps every 100 miles. Livestock. Now, I know that's an industry that ain't the strongest right now, but hear me out on this. You'd be better off pulling cows than you would be pulling a dry van at some of these companies now. Believe it or not. And lastly, this one requires an endorsement, but these two are going to require endorsements anyway. The doubles, triples, and the tanker that I mentioned previously. Because the doubles, triples dolly is not going to move itself. That's a fact. And the tanker, well, there is not a single technology out there that can refill an underground storage tank robotically. As of yet. So, protect your income. Look at different trailer options if you're getting your CDL license. And know that self-driving trucks are a threat to your job. I was hoping it wouldn't be this way, but as it turns out, it's definitely headed that direction. So, consider this your wake-up call. Get your endorsements or your training. Since those are the two things that will save you from the advent of the self-driving revolution. Until next time, let's make your best trip your next trip. Keep learning. Keep thinking. Get those endorsements. And keep on trucking. Bye for now.